Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about replication in S3. So the first kind of replication we're going to look at is when the buckets are in one account. And effectively, this allows you to copy objects from one bucket into another in an ongoing basis. This happens automatically once you've set it up. Uh, it happens in the background. You don't need to worry about it. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that it is asynchronous. And this is important to remember for the exam that this kind of replication is asynchronous. It doesn't happen instantly. So if you put a new object into bucket one, it won't, that same object or a copy of that object won't instantly appear in the second bucket. It does take some time. It's usually pretty quick, actually very quick, but technically it's asynchronous replication. So keep that in mind. Now, when would you want to use this? Well, for example, if you want to have backup copies of your objects or uh, you're storing data for archiving, purposes. Uh, in order to enable this, you'll need to set up an IAM role, which will be assumed by the S3 service, and it needs to have the appropriate permissions to take objects from one bucket and put them into the other, and you'll see all this in practice in um, the practical tutorial. Now, the next type of replication is when the buckets are into different accounts, and uh, you might want to use this when you're sharing data between two different accounts, for example. Now, here again, you need to set up an IAM role, uh, which the S3 service will assume. But the difference here is that the bucket in the second account has no particular reason uh, to trust this IAM role or the first account in general for that matter. So we need to set up a um, bucket-based policy, which will um, allow that IAM role to place objects into this bucket. So that's the only difference here. Then also we need to know about same region replication. So whether you're replicating in one account or across two different accounts, replication can either be same region when uh, the, both buckets are in the same region, <laughs> or SRR for short, or it can be cross-region replication, or CRR for short, when the two buckets are in two different regions. Um, and again, there's, of course, use cases for uh, each one of them. For example, in uh, same region replication, you might be just creating archiving, uh, archiving data or sharing data between accounts. Uh, in terms of cross-regional replication, you might be using this to uh, keep your data closer to your end users or to create a backup for uh, disaster recovery in case the whole region fails, for example. And one final thing about replications, when you're setting up your replication, there's a setting which you can enable called RTC or replication time control. Basically, it allows you to speed up your replication if you like. It's an additional fee. So remember that for the exam, it's an additional fee, but it does allow you to speed up your replication. And if you do enable it, then most of your objects will be replicated within seconds. And it ensures that 99.99% .99 of your objects are replicated within 15 minutes. So that's all we need to know about replications. Here's a quick summary of what we discussed. I look forward to seeing you back here next time. And until then, enjoy the cloud.